Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to this episode of the Unfiltered Brew Blog. I'm Brian, and today I'm excited to show you a brewing device that is an untraditional item used for making coffee. This item is called a reverse vacuum filtered coffee maker. It's got a long name, but I guarantee it's gonna make the best cup of coffee you've ever drank. And the reason why is because it's the longer interaction that it gives between the coffee and the water. Traditional brewing, uh, traditional coffee makers will just interact with your coffee grounds for uh, a second or so as it filters its way through there. This one actually goes for about 90 seconds. And in doing so, it reduces a lot of the tannins that you get with the coffee. The tannins are that bitter flavor that you have when you drink the coffee. So all that is gonna get removed through this type of brewing process. Now, it's a fairly simple design. It's just two glass chambers. And at the bottom here, you're gonna have some hot water. Um, I would recommend getting some pre-boiling your water already. Otherwise, you're gonna be waiting quite a long time while this little candle wick burns. Uh, but what happens is once the heat from the candle, or the uh, burning device rather, uh, once the heat from that um, causes the water to boil, it's going to get pushed up this little tube right here and the water will come up up top. Up here is where it interacts with your coffee. When you're ready to drink your coffee, you're just going to remove the flame and in this space, it would have created a reversed vacuum. So the coffee will then be sucked right back down to the bottom, separating the coffee grounds from the coffee. And the way it is separated is from this little cloth filter right here. So let's go ahead and put this guy in and we'll get this thing burning. So I'm gonna re-separate this portion here and this guy is just gonna go right through the bottom, attaches right onto the bottom there, and we'll put it right on. One note that I would recommend when choosing your media to burn, uh, I, I use isopropyl alcohol, it's just basic rubbing alcohol, because it's cheap and you can get it at the dollar store. Uh, but what I found is that you don't want to use the lower concentrations. Find as high as a concentration as you can get. So as you can see here, I got 50% uh, alcohol, and that wasn't enough to hold the uh, flame. So then now I'm using this 91% isopropyl alcohol, and that does the trick. Okay, so I've already heated my water and it's ready to uh, start boiling. So we'll just light the flame here and put it right under the coffee maker. And now all we have to do is wait for the water to start to boil. And you'll know that that's happening because the water is gonna get pushed up to the top. This is a really cool coffee maker to have uh, when you have a party because it's got a big wow factor. So your guests will like to sit there and watch it as, uh, as the water gets as the coffee rather gets sucked down to the bottom uh, it's not realistic to have as your daily coffee maker because it does take a little bit longer to make but I mean if you have the time um, or you want to use it on the weekends this is a great coffee maker to use so as you can already see the water is getting pushed up to the top here and very quickly it'll start to fill up so you'll notice there's gonna get a lot of smoke here and uh, not smoke steam rather and uh, the water will get pushed up. And then we're gonna take our coffee grounds and we'll just pop them right in the top here. And uh, we're gonna let them interact for about 90 seconds. And while this heats up, let's go ahead and time lapse it so you can see it fill all the way to the top. Okay, this is the time that you want to break out the desserts because uh, as you can see it takes a little while to get rolling. Uh, now that we do have the water up to the top, you're going to want to take your pre-ground coffee grounds, pre-ground coffee grounds, yeah that's right, pre-ground coffee grounds, and dump them right on the top here. And 
And uh, I like to just use the back handle of a, a wooden spatula and you can just go ahead and give it a quick stir and let all the coffee grounds get saturated. Now we're going to want to let this go for about 90 seconds and uh, at the end of the 90 seconds all you got to do is put out the flame and you'll watch the vacuum get sucked back in and you're going to have a nice fresh cup of coffee right there. While we're waiting for this fabulous cup of coffee to brew, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking my video. It's going to help me out a lot and uh, it also gives me an idea of the content that you like to watch. Okay, so at the end of the 90 seconds or so, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy out. And you'll see that the coffee is gonna start to cool down, and as it cools down, it's gonna get sucked into this little chamber at the bottom. And what's happening now is that the coffee grounds are getting separated from the filter, and uh, this is gonna be your drinking coffee at the bottom. There we go. That's it. So we have this little stand right here. And what you're going to do is just grab the bottom here. It's not hot. You would think it would be hot, but it's not. And set it right back in the stand. And we'll grab a nice Yeti cup. If you know me, you know I like Yeti. That's the best coffee cup to drink in. And here we go. Now this coffee, in my opinion, is so smooth that I don't even need to have uh, creamer or sugar, things that I would normally put in a cup of coffee, uh, but that bitterness flavor is just not there. So you're just kind of left with a very smooth cup of coffee. Okay, well that's it. Thank you for taking the time to check out my reverse vacuum filtered coffee maker. And if you like this episode, please consider subscribing as well as liking my channel. Thank you for checking out the Unfiltered Brew Vlog.